Texas Governor Rick Perry feeling the burn of a social media blunder gone viral. A controversial tweet was sent from the governor's Twitter account last night. It was quickly removed, but the damage was already done. KITV's Adam Rakusin here now with a look at the possible effect and why we should all be cautious with social media. Adam. Well, Hema, here's the thing with uh, social media. Once it's out there, it's likely in the digital universe for good. Even if you tried to do something to delete it, Real quickly, someone might have snapped a photo or retweeted before you could get to it. For Governor Perry, regardless of how it got on his Twitter feed, what's done is done. Rick Perry's Twitter biography section reads the personal Twitter feed of Texas's 47th governor. But Perry is backing away from a tweet sent from that account. Last night, this parody picture of Travis County District Attorney Rosemary Lemberg appeared. The captioning said, I don't always drive drunk at three times the legal blood alcohol limit. But when I do, I indict Governor Perry for calling me out about it. I am the most drunk Democrat in Texas. The tweet was deleted and another tweet posted to Perry's account says, quote, a tweet just went out from my account that was unauthorized. I do not condone the tweet and I have taken it down. While this uh, infamous tweet was deleted, it's never going to go away as we as we see it's everywhere. And so there really is no more delete button. Eric Aronson is the founder of Sync Digital Marketing, a company that designs, builds, and manages online marketing systems for businesses. We each have almost the same amount of uh, potential liability online. We can all say things that, are, that can come back to bite us. It's just like the real world, only kind of magnified and quicker. Regardless of who actually sent the tweet, Aronson believes it could be damaging. So we just have to be really cautious about the things that we're saying or or allowing people to say things on our behalf. That goes for anyone operating in the digital world. We're going to only see uh, the internet and, and social media become more integrated into our everyday lives. And we reached out to the governor's office to try and get more information on who sent the tweet but have not heard back. Reporting live, Adam Rakusin, KITV News.